So how can you talk a little bit about the perspective of a believer in the society that we find ourselves in today? What perspective should we approach our society with? Well, obviously the broad answer is that we want a biblical perspective, okay? But on a specific, specifically speaking, you know, for me, I, I was just saying to a friend the other day, I said, I feel like I am not living in the world that I was living in even a decade ago. You know, I, I'm definitely not living in the same world that I was living in 20, 30 years ago. But even within the last few years, I would say even since the pandemic, we are living in a different world. Um, the social issues are more fractured and divisive than they've ever been. Um, moral issues are much more divergent than they've than they've been in the sense that you have people that really want to um, live according to hey our own terms our own truth and then you have what scripture says that says well actually Jesus is the way he's the truth and he's the life so there's a very specific uh, way to live so here we have all of this stuff right so we can when you talk about perspective we can think despair we can think is God really on his throne? Um, you know, we can think, man, uh, do we just cave to culture? Is that the way that we should go? Or what do we do? But when we get into scripture, we realize that, oh, okay, this is not the end for us. This real Jesus says over and over and over again, like, hey, we are living for etern eternity. Um, this is not the final the, the final place. And he talks about storing up our treasure in heaven, not here. And so perspective of, hey, if I'm living for right now in this world and kind of the American dream come true, I'm in a really sad place right now. I'm in a fearful place right now because that American dream seems like it's, you know, dissolving by the moment. If I am living to talk about and live the kingdom of God that Jesus has brought to this earth, not in full yet, but, you know, then I see our time as an opportunity to, uh, to, to speak truth, to love people, uh, to show humility, and to also, I pray, be a beacon of light in a really, really dark place. So perspective means everything for us. And I, I think for me, and I'll just be honest, that I think for, and I'm sure it's to this way to a certain degree, but it was sort of like the American dream and Jesus. Well, as the American dream, whatever that means for you, as that seems to fizzle day by day, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, you know what? I don't know that the American dream was ever really supposed to be part of my grand goal here. It's to, it's to live as a follower of Christ. And, um, that's not to put our roots deeply here. It doesn't mean that we don't care about what's here. In fact, we'll actually care more about every moment of our lives here when we have an eternal perspective, but it's going to be from a, a different vantage point. How does that change our relationships? Yeah, well, I mean, I think, again, you know, when we think about what's eternal, so Jesus says, storing up that treasure in heaven, what is eternal? People are eternal. So that means that people are not disposable. People, um, every single person is made in the image of God. Uh, every single person, uh, whether they have our ideology, whether they have our belief, you know. And so then we are to, we're to love, we're to reach out, we're to train, we're to speak the truth, and we're to talk about the gospel. And that means our relationships, in, in a sense, they become even more important than they were before because we realize that these are eternal. So when we spend time with people and when we spend time investing, we're, we are literally storing up treasure in heaven because that is an eternal, that is an eternal investment.